Yes, this is a public outreach from the Medicinal Cannabis Authority. We're in Kingstown this morning. It's a rainy morning, but um, we're sure the sun's coming out. And we're inviting everybody uh, to come and listen and learn about COVID-19 as well as substance abuse. Whereas we are an organization that's established to regulate medicinal cannabis and show the benefits of medicinal cannabis, we are also concerned about the abuse that might affect some of our youth, our young kids, and also the use of cannabis in driving. But at the same time, we're talking about substance abuse in terms of alcohol, in terms of cocaine, in terms of prescription medication, also food, sugar, excess sugar, excess overeating, a lot of people indulging, and a host of other addictions. But the important thing is you could come down here in Kingston at the Major Health Car Park and you could hear a little bit more. So this is an outreach. We'll be going to schools, we'll be going out in other villages, we'll be going out in other towns and communities, and we'll be giving this particular message, balancing the benefits of medicinal cannabis with substance abuse that we want to avoid, and at the same time, promoting how best to avoid COVID-19 by wearing masks and so forth. I've taken off my mask for the time being, but we want persons to protect themselves, hand sanitizers and all those other things as much as possible. That will help to keep St. Vincent and the Grenadines relatively COVID-free and everybody safe. It's your shit, right? Huh? Yeah, no, Good, good morning. I'm Dr. Jason Young, the Medicinal Cannabis Authority. I'm the medical officer there. Um, today's exhibition is about, it's really about subs talking about substance abuse, about various forms of addiction. Um, it's also about introducing the concepts of patient access, patient access to medicinal cannabis. And we also here discussing a little bit about COVID-19. Now in terms of in terms of the patient access which is really which is really the area that, that I am on staff for. Um, we want the public to know that patient access regulations have been rolled out. Patient access regulations are all about ensuring that patients who need medicinal cannabis can access it, and that um, those who don't, those who shouldn't have it, and, uh, and prevent diversion to the, the illicit market, right? So that everybody who needs it will have it, and, and those who and those who shouldn't have it won't get it. Um, and the patient access, um, we have already started to receive applications from from physicians to, to be able to authorize them to prescribe medicinal cannabis. Um, pharmacies, pharmacies have begun to, to apply for their license, their licenses to be able to, to um, di um, dispense medicinal cannabis. And, um, and we are also in the process of setting up the various systems for monitoring and ensuring that ca medicinal cannabis is in diverted. All right, so at the exhibition here today, we, we just want to invite everybody to come down if you have any questions about medicinal cannabis, any questions about substance abuse, we are here, we will answer your questions. Right? We, and we look forward to seeing you. Thank you. My name is Osa Samuel. I'm currently an inspector in the Medicinal Cannabis Authority. Um, currently, we have several farms under cultivation, namely Trout, St. Vincent, and Grenadines. Um, you know, we have a lot of cultivation in the good time. There's a lot of traditional cultivators out um, We have some in jock shop, and different classes of races. Um, right now, farmers are in the process of planting um, many local strains. We also want to do some testing of those local strains when they harvest to see what are the CBD uh, THC content, the potency. Um, Pretty much the industry is progressing. We, we want to do um, we need some observation because we want to see how different streams are performing. Because there are some investors who have some other some some foreign streams. I want to see how they are performing in our local conditions here. Um, we have several challenges that we want to undertake as well. We know one of them is mainly. 
drain drain side of it. So you want to um, from the N MCA perspective, you want to see if we can construct a drain facility to ensure that we don't have more. There are other challenges that we want to try to see if we can eliminate, mainly in terms of planting. You want to make sure that all farmers are adhering to the protocols in terms of good agriculture practices. You want to have a linear organic based industry, so you want to eliminate the use of pesticides and fertilizers that will hamper the industry because bear in mind that when these strains are, plant, are planted and they're harvested, we have a testing facility and we want to make sure that no heavy metals are present in the soil and we want to make sure that chemical components are eliminated because once you have a striving organic industry in terms of it will attract a better price. Also, so we are in the process right now of, of having some SOPs, that's a standard operation procedure, so we want to govern the industry. And sooner and by this after when we have these SOPs out, we'll be doing the conducting on training. Because what we are doing, we want to regulate and we want to make sure, especially as it's the traditional cultivators in Dunga, that we have a very vibrant industry. So what, what we do on a daily basis, we go out, um, inspect farmers' farm, make sure that they have the adequate, they have make sure that the fencing is there, they have road access, um, they use proper soil and water conservation methods, practice with soil and water conservation methods, ensure that they do not um, cultivate in farm in far protected areas. We also want to make sure that the, the farms are kept clean um, so that they make sure that they have the right content of the disposal of garbage on a daily basis. Make sure that the farmers are wearing proper protected gears and the list goes on. So we, we are all together as inspectors. Our job is to ensure enforce and make sure that we have the farmers and all the key players, manufacturers, um, adhering to the policies and so that we can have a, a good industry and that one will be very beneficial to citizens. I'm Fiona Denny Clare and I'm the drug inspector, pharmacist at the Medicinal Cannabis Authority. And we are here, we have an, an outreach really just to bring the public up to date of what's happening at the Medicinal Cannabis Authority as it relates to patient access. We also are working along with the Ministry of Health, the COVID-19 Task Force team. So we are here just to interact with persons. Persons can come by with your questions, your concerns, any misconceptions that you may have that you want cleared up. You can have that done today. There are a lot of members of staff here that is willing and ready to interact with you. Yeah, yeah.